All right, thanks for watching. Um, we are at part three of my experience with the part 107. And what I want to do today is come into my little office here and let's check out the biggest part of the test for me. All right, was the airman knowledge testing supplement for this sport pilot, recreational pilot, remote pilot, and private pilot. So they'll give you this book. And I spent more time in this book than I think anything else that, that was on the test. And so what I want to do right here is make you familiar with what I got, got had, to, had to deal with. Okay. So what I recommend is I'll have a link at the bottom below on the YouTube video here is this supplement right here. Okay. And um, if you click on that, you should be able to download your own PDF of this. And what's crazy is I'll go ahead and let's just get into it a little bit is this right here. It has a lot of pages. Uh, right around 100 pages. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Let's just let's just look at it real quick, and I'll show you. Yeah, 113 pages this thing has. 113 pages. So if you will spend just a little bit of time flipping through it, then you'll become a little more familiar with it. You'll see that if you get the PDF, the problem is, I'm going to go ahead and show you it right now. I'm going to start on page one to go through it the PDF, you kind of can just flip through this like it's no big deal. All right. We're already on page seven. But then what's going to happen is as you go to this PDF, if you want to go to, let's say, uh, figure 18. All right. You just click on that. Boom. There it is. OK. Well, that's not the way that this thing is set up. The way this is set set up is you are going to you're going to have to flip back and forth. And I promise you, you are not going to be able to see this thing very well. This thing is, it's, I want to say it's all maybe archaic in a sense, but it's blurry. I mean, it really is. And you're in this, you're having to look up at the screen. It's got the questions up in the top left-hand corner. All right. And the answer's all up there where you pick from. And it kind of, you know, your eyes are adjusting to that light. And now you have to look down at the book. And you're looking down at the book. You're like, oh, I don't know if I can see inside there. I ended up having to take the magnifying glass and I see pretty good. I said, I don't wear glasses or anything like that. I see great. I was using the magnifying glass throughout the entire thing. So I, I suggest you get in here and get familiar with it. Now, what I want to do is I want to get myself out of the way a little bit. And I just want to go through um, this booklet right here and just kind of hit each page that I think I remember being on the test, each and every page. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go scrolling through with it. And I'm probably not going to remember the question, but um, uh, like I said, if, you have the, if you're on the computer, you just click on these different parts right here. You know, we, we, can't, we can't do that inside of the actual test. What I did is, let's see if I can get down to it, right here. This bad boy, you have got to get familiar with this. This is, I would spend time, I would print, if I had to do it all over, I'm printing this out. All right. And I'm going to just try to become as familiar as I can with everything that's in here, up and down. The communication boxes were big. I remember coming back to this and just reassuring myself that what I was looking at is what it was asking. I'm like, what, what, what was that again? Double checking. And I, I spent, I felt like I spent more time on it than, than I think I needed to. But I only spent about an hour on the whole test. They got two hours. I could have spent more time. So take your time. Get familiar with all this. You don't have to memorize it, but just get familiar enough that you're like, oh, okay, there's some towers, and they're asking about a tower, which they will ask about a tower or obstruction you see right here. And you're like, okay, I didn't memorize it. Let me just flip over to that page, this legend right here, and it'll tell me what's going on. Um, the flags. I saw the flags on there. Some weird terrain features similar to this right here. I saw that. Come up here and get familiar with everything. Just, you don't have to memorize it, like I said. I know uh, some of the stuff got a little confusing trying to find different spots on the map. So what I did is come over here, reassure yourself. You don't have to jump in there and then and memorize everything and then copy it all down before you start the test. It's right here. Here's your B airspace, C airspace, D airspace, E, E. The E... We'll go ahead and throw this out right here. Is the most confusing of all of the air spaces because the floors change depending on three different colors 
And then all of a sudden you have no color and you're in E and it's just weird. So make sure you, you understand all that and get into that. Oh yeah. This one, this part helped me out a lot too in the legend that all these different little codes reminded me what different things meant. And some of this, I didn't know some of the stuff I didn't know. I have a clue, but here, here's the legend. You've got to use the legend. So in the book, what they're actually going to do. Okay. And they're going to, they're going to give you, Inside the book, there'll be a clear sheet of paper. And I know that sounds weird, a clear sheet of paper. It's a piece of plastic. All right. And I guess they want you to put that on top of the of whatever page you're on and write or whatever you want to on that. I didn't do that. I tore it out and then I actually put it where this legend is. I put it in there and it's a little bit bigger than the rest of it. So I could, if I was on, say, let's say figure 88 and I needed the legend, I go bam. I just grab a piece of plastic and bam, I'm on, on the legend. That way I'm not going back and forth and back and forth and flipping and trying to find it again. I guess you could fold the page, do different things, but that's what I did. It really worked for me. Okay, let's get back into it. And I hope I've said enough about the legend, but it was a big deal. Okay, so let me rotate this where it needs to be here. All right. All right, we'll do it. Come on. Whoop, whoop. Right there. All right. Oh, let's see here, right here. This looks like it could have helped. Um, they did ask about a few little things. I'll just be familiar with that page. Also, page 15. Wasn't that big a deal. All right. Uh, legend. I don't remember this at all. So there's going to be a bunch of pages you don't have to worry about at all. No, I didn't worry about this. Remember that at all. Let's keep on going. No. No, no, no. Let's just bring it to 100% there. All right, there's a lot of stuff in here. You don't, you don't, I never came across. You have to worry about. <clears throat> now, remember, there is a question bank. And what I've heard from some other people, there's about 300 questions. I don't know where they got that number from unless they actually help make the test. That when you sit down, you've paid your 175 bucks or whatever it is that the test is going to draw from that. Sorry. So you, <clears throat> this was actually in it. I had to use this one. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I had to use this one right here. All right. This one I had to use. You have to be able to take the bank um, or the weight and the bank and mul multiply and then it'll give you your answer of how much the uh, use these codes over here, whatever bank you're um, you're at, and then multiply it by this, and that'll give you your answer. So make sure you're familiar with that. You've done that a few times. Did not use that. Nope. 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 All right. Boom. This was a big one. All right. Now they give you this book right here. So what I would do is I wouldn't study any METARs other than these right here. These are the METARs that you need right there. No other METARs. Take this page, figure 12, this one printed out, whatever, copy them out. Make sure you know all of them and understand what, what it's saying. All right, so that was on there. All right, let's keep going. Nope. Nope. Yes, the tabs. These were on here. This is a, a stumbling block for me. I didn't know these as well as I should have. I took my time and I knew enough. I think I got the answers right. Okay. So make sure you go through and understand the tasks. These two tasks. You don't have to understand any others. These right here. You'll never use a TAF again as far as I'm concerned when you're flying a drone. All right. These were not on it. Nope. 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 I know in my practice stuff, this 218 was on there, or figure 19. Okay. Now we're getting into, we're about, look, we're about halfway through it. So page 53 is about where we're starting here on some of this. And let me look, let me look, let me look. Oh, this is figure 20. Okay. Um, I don't exactly remember this being on here, but, oh, freaking out on me. Come on, computer, settle down. Okay. I don't remember this one being on there. 
Okay, but for some reason it's it's in my brain a little bit, so I'm, I would write that down. It may have been through study or whatever. I do remember this one on here. Had something to do with Garrison right there. All right, so know that know that was on there. And let's check this one out here. This was number twenty-two. Um, I want to say that was on there too, number twenty-two. I don't remember exactly how, but I remember, I remember that being on there. Everything's so familiar in this. And I want to find one in particular for sure that was on there. I'm not sure about that one. Doesn't look very familiar. No. Okay, this is looking familiar right here. Let's get this flipped over. Come on, get where I need to be. There, oh, it was there. Boom. Yes, all right, so this one is on there. Okay. Yes, so this one was on there for sure. Here's the airport. This question was on there about the Hicks Airport. And you had to know the floor of it. It was tough, all right, going through everything, everything like that. So just they'll ask about some of these, I'll call them more minor airports in these this uh class b airspace so you need to know about this one this is i remember i want to say i came across this one more than one time that might be something you really need to get into is this one right there become really familiar with it that is let's see if i can get this down a little bit further okay come on all right um that is figure 25 so you know 25 make sure you look at this one again and again and again and just study that one and that, that'll help you out. All right, let's keep going. All right, none of that. Okay, now this one, they, were, they asked a lot about, I shouldn't say a lot, but about radio frequencies. And you can see right here, it's talking about radio frequencies. I was not sure about what was going on. So this, this page, the Idaho page, and I want to say if there's no others, it's this one. But that seems like there's another one that's a full page that it was actually on. Let me let's scroll through there. No, no, no. None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Nope. 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 None of that's familiar at all. Okay. And we're making our way. We're almost to the very end of it. None of that stuff. That stuff's just goofy. You do have to know these runways, though. You've got to know the runways and be able to identify where the plane is, all right, according to the runway. That was not in it. All right, it may be this one right here. Until it comes to radio frequencies. Number, so figure 52. Make sure you have something, you know something about that. That's not in it. No, none of that. I'm trying to sc scoot through this so this doesn't take forever. Okay. I'm going to say yes. This looks familiar right here. I don't remember why. All right. Or how it was familiar. Ooh, Ohio. I'll be familiar with radio frequencies in there too. None of that. None of that. None of that. To be honest. All right. So there's not a lot of these, these sectional maps. There's really not. And I would just, just become familiar with all of them. This, there's so many things in this book that are a distraction that you you don't need to know anything about. There's another one of those things with the that looks real familiar, like no, figure 78. I'm gonna say that was in it. Maybe it was that one right there. That looks familiar too. Figure 80. I remember that brown desert looking area. I don't have exact questions for you. Sorry about that, but guys, that's the end of it. So what is my reasoning for giving this to you, all right, is I know I know you want to go. You want to know the questions. You want to know what the talk, they're all about. Which which questions are they? Tell me more. Tell me more. You want to know. I can't remember exactly those questions. There were so many. But you need to become familiar with this, and you almost need to put yourself in a bad situation where you can't see things really well or become so familiar with this that you – you don't you don't get dis discouraged when you're looking at these charts. 
Because if you come into this and have not looked at this at all, you're going to struggle. You really will. So what I'm asking you to do is check this out and maybe it'll help you out. I hope it does. Um, if you like this, I'm going to have more um, parts in this little series when it comes to the part 107. I'll try to help you guys out all I can. Um, I have a YouTube channel. That's one of the reasons I got my part 107. And um, it's been kind of weird getting going through the process now, trying to get the license and all that stuff. It's been a little bit frustrating with all the new rules that are coming out. My drone didn't have a, um, what do you call it? The little tracker on it. And so I had to buy one of those. I may review the one that I got. Uh, anyways, good luck on what you have. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. What do you want to know about the test? What can I help you with? What let me give you a group of vocabulary words. What, what do you want? And that will be um, uh, my pleasure to help you guys out. Anyways, thanks for watching. And um, like we say in all our videos, we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.